I'm Bridget. I am from Harvey Bay. I grew up here. I love this town and I also love being a part of Bayside Church. Hello, I'm Kate and I am from a small town near London called Biggleswade in England. I moved to Australia about 16 months ago and yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> Um, so for me, my story began when I was a child. I was actually baptised in the Catholic Church as a baby and I had a Catholic education growing up. And I definitely would say that as a child I connected with Jesus. I used to love the hymns and the singing and all that at school. Um, but as I grew up, I didn't really stay connected at all. And then now I went off and did uni, I finished school, did uni, moved around, traveled, did all that. And then about three years ago, I started asking some of those bigger life questions. I started wondering, what am I here for? Well, I was brought up in the Methodist church. My nanny Brenda used to run the um, Sunday school. But um, yeah, I suppose I've always had that foundation, but not really realized it i hadn't had that personal um encounter of god's love for me i always had such a close relationship with my grandparents so i just yeah i loved when we prayed together and just that and then yeah growing up i went to uni i don't know deviated away <laughs> just like the standard cliche um but really i was just searching for for love and for purpose and belonging I was just kind of going through the motions, doing what I thought would bring me happiness and love and security. I had a stable partner, we were building a house, we were getting married, I'd finished my uni, I had a good full-time job, but I was also at that time severely depressed and asking those bigger life questions like, there's got to be more to life than this, there has to be... There just has to be. I remember hoping there has to be. It was almost like that cry to God, like, please let there be more. But versus now where I feel so fulfilled and living so much more purposefully and I feel loved and accepted and forgiven and I feel lighter. I used to have a lot of burdens, I think, five years ago. Um, and then also coming to Christ has been a healing journey as well. So I think where I am now, I would say I have a much more free spirit. Um, I was at uni. I was, if I'm being honest, I was drinking a lot of alcohol. I was partying a lot. I was quite low. Um, I had like these two sides of me. Like there was a side that was like, who knew God existed and had that sometimes that those connections where you really are overcome with the power of God. Um, and I still had that, but then there was no foundation for it to survive on. So then, um, yeah, I just go back to living how the world lives, to be honest. I jumped from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship, trying to find love and purpose that only God could give. And it was very damaging. Um, so now, Oh my goodness, the change is just, only like only God and I can know the difference in the way my thoughts are, in what I desire, it is completely 360 and it's, it's incredible. Um, so now I feel, yeah, I feel loved. I feel empowered that God uniquely designed me as he uniquely designed everyone. And that's exciting because it, it brings me into a place where, you know, the more I learn to trust God and lean on Him, He'll guide me exactly where He wants me to make an impact, which no one else can do because no one else is me. So <laughs> I feel I feel like before I was looking for, I was trying to fit the moulds of everything else rather than trying to fit God's mould for me. And now I feel like I'm slowly healing and walking into God's mould and just, you know, coming out of my own mould that I created and God is so kind and gentle. Yeah, I'm really lucky that I come from a very supportive family. Even though my family aren't um, Christians or whatnot, they're, they're very much supportive and they're here, they're coming to my baptism and they support me going mm -hmm. to church and my own journey. 
which I feel really grateful for. Even though we're all very different and we all have our own paths to walk, we do support each other and I do feel very, very loved by them and they're coming along on the journey with me. So mum, her life is, God is working in my mum's life in such magnificent ways, you know, she's having her own transformation. So mum knows, like I know she knows God and she's on that journey herself. And my dad is just like, yeah, cool. <laughs> but my grandparents are over overjoyed that he, my granddad has been on my case for a long time. Are you gonna get baptized? Are you gonna get baptized? <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. So when I gave my life to Christ, it was my first service here at Bayside and it was actually my first church service since I was in high school. I hadn't been for many, many years and I really felt Holy Spirit led. It, I don't think I necessarily really understood the, the journey that I was going to go on um, by taking that action, but the action felt really right. It felt, I was, it felt natural. It, I just knew, my spirit just knew as well. And I had my hand up and I was like, yes, me, um, I want to do that. Um, I want to give my life to Christ. And then since then, understanding where that has taken me and the anchor that that has given me um, has been really amazing. So it just felt really natural um, to me to, to take that step, even though I didn't necessarily understand what I was getting myself into, it definitely has mm -hmm. been the best decision I've made. Well, it was during the Alpha Holy Spirit weekend. Well, I've committed my life to Christ before many times. I've, you know, I've done, I've said the prayer again, you know, that Jesus would come in. But, um, so it wasn't like it was a new thing, but, it was so new in that this time I really felt, you know, God just came in. It was just in a church service. I think it was my second time at Bayside after the Holy Spirit weekend of Alpha. And I I felt free in worship, which was unlike me. I was like, I'm never gonna be one of those people that raises their hands. And then I had my hand half raised. <laughs> and then I was just crying. And it was the most, I don't cry a lot. I'm quite blocked and it was just freeing. Um, I really, really just felt God and it was like, I was kind of mourning for the way I'd chosen to live my life and what that, had, like how hurt that must have made God. And I just felt like all this sadness, but this relief, it was like, oh, you know, I can finally see with fresh eyes that this is not the way I want to live anymore. It's not serving me and God only wants me to like to be free so it was just like all this pain was being released and I was just crying and then um I got prayed for um and I was on my knees which is just like bizarre for me <laughs> and then yeah since then it's it's just been I was excited to read the bible for the first time in my life and I was just excited about who Jesus was and all that he did so um to feel excitement at the gospel was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. So I guess it also just felt like the right next natural step again after giving my life to Christ um, a few months ago at the end of last year, I really felt I've been on a journey with Christ since then and I've experienced so much love, so much freedom, so much forgiveness, so much grace. It's been extraordinary and I just felt that I really wanted to, I guess in a way, kind of give back like in, yeah, in getting baptized and making that, that public declaration and being like, I am a Christian, you know, really honoring my experience in Christ and taking that next step that shows that, that is that is out there for the world to see because it, it's almost easy just to be like, yeah, I'm a Christian and mm -hmm. just go about your day to day and still, you know, I'm still a good person and everything, but to really go out there and be like, you know what, I'm a Christian and I'm deciding to go get baptized down in the water at the beach for everyone to see, you know, and invite all my family and all my friends and whatnot. That to me is, is exciting and mm -hmm. terrifying. <laughs> And I'm really, yeah, really, really keen for it. Yeah, choosing to be baptized. Well, to be honest, when you, when I had that personal, it's heart knowledge. You, 
No, people can tell you all day long Jesus loves you, but until you feel it in your heart, it doesn't do anything. Well, for me, like it's just there, Jesus loves me, oh cool. But then it was like, oh my goodness, Jesus loves me. And then from that point, it's like, you wanna honor that love and you wanna live in a way that, that makes God happy because his love is just so great. So being baptized is, is a step, like it's a public declaration that actually like Jesus, what Jesus did is relevant to me and it's changed my life and it's given me purpose and meaning. And I, you know, I just love, I love who Jesus was, who he still is and I love who God is and we're wired for love. So I wanna be part of that, to be honest. And I want to make a difference and, and, and just move into God's calling so that I can love others as he's loved me.